Please put your hands together for Evan Allen. Thanks, Andy. On today's video, Evan Allen is telling us all about his contribution to the arts. Holding it and like trying to like form it into a phallus, really gross. And I'm holding this like sloppy banana and just thinking to myself like, no way, man, absolutely not. Hi, and welcome once again to the Madison Story Slam YouTube channel. If you can do us a favor and hit subscribe here on YouTube, hit the notification bell, and you can go to madisonstoryslam.com to find to find, to find our podcast. And then while you're at it, go to patreon.com slash Madison Story Slam, become a patron of the show and help us grow. That helps a ton. Like I said at the beginning, our video today is Evan Allen, and it's a story about his brother's influence on him as a young man back in school. And Evan decides to uh, contribute to another artist and help their piece of art, you know, last and, and be better and go down through the ages as a magnificent work of art. Here's Evan. Bananas. Um, my brother, I told a story about my brother last month. He had some silly friends. He was two years older than me. And, well, we used to always eat in the cafeteria in school. It was like in the basement. Um, and it wasn't the best of decorated cafeterias. Uh, there was <laughs> a strange painting on the wall of a, of a lady in a wooded area holding her hands out like she was expecting to receive some sort of tribute or, I don't know, gift from a, a, a goddess. And <laughs> we would always look at this painting and think like, she needs to be holding something. There's, she's missing, There's, the artist just, he must have passed away before he finished the piece. <laughs> There has to be something in her hand. And so we would kind of stew on this, and we were stewing and stewing, and then we realized, oh, we could like put something on that piece of art. What should we put on that piece of art? And we were like, I don't know, we don't have anything. All we have is food, lunch food around us. So uh, lunches went on and on, and, and <laughs> my brother's friend Mitch, uh, Mitch Lynch, <laughs> Good guy. He would always bring a banana, would rarely eat it. So he had this banana and decided to try to carve into the banana in a way that made it look uh, like a phallus object. <laughs> so he, he took this banana and kind of transformed it into a dick and tried to convince his friends to, hey, somebody take this banana and go slap it on the painting on her hand and uh, no one no one from that friend group believed him and they were like no that's a horrible idea no it's not gonna that's not what the lady is intending to receive from the goddess so <laughs> my brother said I know the person to do this and he turned to all of his friends and said my brother sits over there and sure enough Mitch walks over with my brother and, and all of my friends are sitting around and looking at like, oh no, here come the eighth graders. And we were little sixth graders. So <laughs> the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the friends of mine were like awestruck. They're like, oh yeah, eighth graders. We have to do exactly what they say. Totally. What are, yep. We're going to, yeah. Uh, Evan, what are the, who are these people? I'm like, oh, this is my brother, Hank. That's, I don't know. Who are you? And he's like, hey, take this and go slap it on that painting. I'm like, what? No, man. Oh, no way. Really bad idea. Let's not do that. And uh, <laughs> so they, they <laughs> all my friends kind of jumped into that, like, yeah, yeah, do it. Oh, this will be so funny. Come on, Evan. So sure, yeah, all right, let's do this. And so he hands me the banana, and it's like gooey, because he's been like holding it and like trying to like form it into a phallus Really gross. And I'm holding this like sloppy banana and just thinking to myself like, no way, man, absolutely not. And I went and I threw it in the trash and I walked out and I, and I called it a day. So lo and behold, I, <laughs> every day that I'd go back in there, Mitch would have transformed his banana into a phallus and was hoping that I would like take the bait that day. I probably threw away like 30 different bananas that over the course of like a month... And then eventually was just like, all right, yeah, fuck it, here we go, let's do this. So he gives me a particularly 
<laughs> slimy, almost brown banana, that has been like, he, he's perfected the art by this time. <laughs> he's had plenty of practice to make this thing really look like a phallus banana. So I hold it in my hand and I walk up and I just kind of hit it onto the painting and walk away and <laughs> in the process I immediately hear like teacher's aides and people on the, on the edge and they're like, oh my god! And I knew that, like, oh, I cannot go back. I can't revel in the glory of this lady that's now holding a cock above her hand that's made of a banana. And so, sure enough, um, I just, like, never ate in that lunchroom ever again. And that was how I solved that problem in my life. Uh, that's the story of how I was peer pressured into banana in a painting. <laughs> Thank you, Evan.